Hey guys, I'm Kenzie Haar and I'm a yoga instructor from Colorado that's currently in LA. Um, and I'm just going to take you guys through a quick little 15 minute yoga series that will help you get limber and um, stronger and just like start your day off really great. So, as you can see, I'm starting the splits, but I'm a former dancer and gymnast, so I've kind of kept this for a while, but I know that yoga has been a huge part in helping me maintain my flexibility and all that stuff. So I want to help you guys get more flexible and be able to eventually, you know, do the splits um, and be more limber just all over. So we're going to start off sitting up. And then the yoga breath is just through the nose. So you're not really doing any, you know, exhales through the mouth. So it's all just, which is a little bit hard to get used to at first, but once you get into the flow of it, it's really, really good. And it's really good for your respiratory system. And it keeps you focused on the breath and just on the practice. So start to breathe here. And then we're going to start in child's pose. So bring your toes out, hip width distance apart. And then we're going to fall forward and reach our hands out all the way. And just stretch out here. Couple deep breaths. And on your next inhale, we're going to come up to a tabletop position. Breathe and make sure that you're stacked completely with your shoulders over your wrists. Now here we're just going to stretch out the spine a little bit and do some cats and cows. So inhale, cat, and arch your back and look up to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Tuck your chin to your chest. That helps get your upper back up more. And suck in that tummy. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. On your next exhale, come to a neutral spine. Breathe. And we're just going to reach our left hand out far forward. And take our right foot all the way back. So they're stretching from opposite directions. You want this hand to feel like it's being pulled this way. Well, this leg and foot is being pulled this way so you can elongate. Breathe here. You reach up. Just go to a place that's comfortable for you. Keep reaching and set it down. In here, we're going to do the opposite side. So reach that right hand forward and the left leg all the way back. Breathe, balance here. Lift up if you want. Exhale, place it all down. Now we're gonna go up into the first downward dog of the class and we, there's a little routine, <laughs> but um, this is a really, really good posture and it helps with your flexibility in your shoulders and your legs and we're gonna do it a lot throughout class, and it is a lot of weight on your shoulders, so if you ever get tired, always come back to just that child's pose that we did at the beginning um, of the routine. So here we go, downward facing dog, you're gonna tuck your toes under, and lift your hips all the way high up to the sky. Press your palms firmly into the mat, and stretch back. Breathe, and if you can't get your heels all the way to the ground, you can definitely just bend your knees here, and then work to one day getting your heels all the way to the ground. Push back, and you wanna push your tailbone out and up. On your next exhale, we're gonna jump or float, or just step to the top of our mat, and bring our Big toes to touch, and then keep a little sliver between our ankles. We're going to inhale and come up to a halfway lift. 
And again, make sure you have a completely flat back and almost act if there's like a string pulling your head toward, forwards and then a string from your tailbone pulling it back so you can elongate your spine. Exhale, bring it down. And now we're going to come into ragdoll. So grab your opposite elbows. And you can side, sway from side to side. And if you can't get all the way down to straight legs, don't worry about it. Just bend your knees a little bit and stretch over your legs. This is a huge release for your hamstrings. And then shake your head out no. Shake your head out yes. That. Now we're going to rise tall all the way up to mountain pose, Tadasana. Roll your pinkies in and just reach tall, tall, tall. Now bring your hands to heart center and this is one of the most important aspects of yoga and of the routine. This is where we set our intention for the routine and it can just be, you know, a little saying that you know or that you love or any positive affirmation that you have and you know can set that as your intention for the class and carry that with you through the rest of the practice. So set your intention here. Close your eyes. Slightly open your eyes and come all the way back down to a forward fold. Now we can flow. So inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. Jump or step back to a high plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. Come down, lift up on your toes and come down so you make a perfect 90 degree angle with your arms. And if you can't do that, you can always modify and come down like this. But what we want is that your elbows stack straight over your wrist. Instead of going out this way or out back this way, we want a straight line. So let's do that again. Chaturanga. Flip your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. This is a great stretch for that core. Exhale, flip your toes. Come back to a downward facing dog. And notice if you feel a little bit looser, even on the second downward dog. Your body's just warming up and it gets a little bit easier to stretch those muscles. On your next exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Now inhale, we're gonna to come to chair pose. So bring your arms up overhead and act like you're sitting in a chair. Look forward, tall spine, hold here. Breathe. This is really warming up those legs. And giving you a really strong foundation. Exhale, back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back to high plank and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So your body should definitely be warm by now, especially with that chair pose in there. All right, exhale, we're gonna jump to the top of our mat. And inhale, halfway lift. We're gonna start to speed things up a little bit here. So just follow along as best you can. Exhale down. Inhale, chair pose. Squat low. Exhale, bring your hands through up center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump to the top back of your mat. Exhale, chaturanga. up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, flip the toes, downward facing dog. Now inhale, your left leg high. Keep your hips aligned. 
Exhale, bring it through to a low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, you're gonna go out all the way over and stretch. Exhale, we'll kneel your hands down. And if your shoulders are starting to feel tired from all those chaturangas, definitely go to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, that right leg high. Exhale, step it through, long lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, up and over and stretch that side body. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Breathe. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Now we're gonna inhale that left leg high. We're gonna bring it through all the way to a low lunge again. Come up to crescent. Warrior two. And now we're gonna get into some deep stretches. So we're gonna go to triangle pose. So we're gonna straighten this leg, but keep this foot pointing out. And this is really gonna stretch this inner hamstring here. And then we're gonna exhale, come all the way over to the side. Bring your hand down and make a triangle with the body. Reach up through this arm and feel that really deep stretch through your left hamstring. Breathe. Inhale back up. Down again to a warrior. Exhale. Hold here, stretch. Exhale, bring the hand down. And we flow. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale down. Inhale up through crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, come up to straight. Exhale over. Down. Feel that stretch. Breathe. Inhale up. And that knee again. Exhale back and over. Next, exhale, windmill down. Last chaturanga of the class. So make it a good one. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Nice job, guys. Breathe here and feel the difference of this downward dog compared to the very first one that we did. See if you can go a little bit deeper and push yourself a little bit further. On your next inhale, bring your, hand, feet, your knees down. And we're gonna go back to that pose that we did at the beginning. So reach your left hand out for, far to the front, your opposite leg back. And now we're gonna work our hips a little bit. So bring that left hand out to the side as you bring your right foot over. If you shake here a little bit, it's okay. It's a lot of hip work. Exhale, bring it back. Stretch, elongate. Bring it down and switch sides. Inhale, bring that foot back. Exhale all the way to the side. Stay strong. Back to the center. Lift. Come down. Sit back on your heels. 
And this is kind of the opposite of a child's pose, just to end. So bring your feet wide and sit between your heels. And then lower all the way down. It's a great stretch. And if you are flexible enough, you can go all the way to the ground and bring your arms up overhead. And breathe. You can stay here as long as you'd like, or you can come up. Come back to a tabletop. And then we're going to come up to a downward facing dog, the last one. And step or jump our feet all the way through. And then we're back to those stretches. So inhale, reach up, exhale, fall forward, and stretch out those hamstrings. And inhale back up, and then you're gonna roll one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to our final pose, Shavasana. And you can lay here for as long as you'd like and meditate, and remember that intention that you set at the beginning of class. So thanks so much for doing that routine with me. And once again, it's a great little warm up for anyone to do in the morning. And there's tons of different modifications if you don't feel quite as strong to, you know, go all the way down in Chaturanga, go on your knees. Or if you're not as flexible, you know, in downward facing dog, definitely bend your knees. Um, but it's just a great little routine to get your day going and have a great kind of positive mindset for the rest of the day.